Lizzie Trapaholics. I'm only going to talk about the fights I did see. Um, that's the Ebony Bridges against the Japanese lady. Now, I'm going to be real with you. Ebony Bridges just got broke up. She <laughs> she got broke up in that fight, man. Like, yo, my girl, um, the Japanese chick. I, you know what, actually, before I talk about that, I remember saying to, uh, shout out to Outlaw. I remember saying to Outlaw that, uh, we we're talking about, and I said, oh, mate, I feel like there's going to be some upset. I just feel there's going to be an upset. Like, whether it, whether it be um, Haney and Pro Grey, uh, Ebony Bridges, Andy Cruz was on the cards, um, and obviously, like, Willem Smith, uh, well, today. Yeah, I said, that stunner. I feel like there's going to be an upset. Like, I just had that feeling. And maybe it's because... Well, how many, when was it? Was it 2012? I want to say it was 2012 or 2011 when Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez. It's, it's something like, yes, yeah, it's, it's over like, what? I say that like 11, 12 years ago when Pacquiao got knocked out by Marquez. You know, like I just felt, felt something is going to happen. End up being Ebony Bridges. Yeah, Ebony Bridges goes up against this um, uh, Japanese girl who lost her I don't know I don't know her story too too well but from based on listening to other people they're like she's supposed to be a boxer she's supposed to be, you know be a, a move on all that kind of stuff there and she literally stayed in the pocket she bullied Ebony Bridges um Ebony Bridges just she just looked flat um she had no answers yeah she got busted from pillar to post um I don't know if it's bad to say about Ebony Bridges, but yeah, because um, the way she markets herself and all this kind of stuff there, look, she's doing, she's doing, she's doing what she's doing. She's bringing eyes to the sport. Um, guys are all a perv over her and all that kind of stuff. They so find her attractive, all that kind of stuff there. Yeah, cool. But uh, yeah, when it comes to her boxing, I've never really, yeah, you could tell she's a fighter. Like she's a fighter. Like she, she'll stay in there, she'll grit it out. Like, even though she was getting broke up in there, yeah, she was taking her licks and you have to give it to her. But generally speaking, uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I just, I'm not impressed. I'm not, I'm, I've never really been impressed with her. To be honest with you, though, like, I did want her to beat Shannon Courtney back then. I can't, I think that was during lockdown. It must have been 2020 or 21. But yeah, that overall, yeah, she just got broke up, man. She just literally got battered from pillar, pillar to post. Um, yeah, there was nothing much I could say. Like, she had, she had a couple of shots, but my girl was just bullying her. Like, like you know that whole saying about you got to bully the bully? She literally bullied the bully. Like, and the, Ebony had no answers. Now, some people might try to criticise old oh, Dave Coldwell and all this kind of stuff there. I don't think... I don't think, uh, basic, look, it could be ring rust. That's one thing as well we've got to take into consideration. Uh, it could be ring rust or that. But there was nothing of her performance that impressed me. Um, I do feel like she was better when she was, when she was with Mark Tibbs. But I just don't know. Maybe, yeah, there's maybe, um, maybe she was flat. Yeah, and remember, she was, um, I'm pretty sure someone pulled out the fight or something like that anyway. So, yeah, she's had a lot of those um, last minute pullouts and that kind of stuff there, which could perfect, yeah, affect her performance. But, yeah, we see where it goes from there. Now, this guy, I've been talking about him from the amateurs, yeah. Andy Cruz went up against uh, Saffron. Saffron is a guy who's gone on per get He's fought Maxi Hughes. He thought that, um, oh, what's his name, man? The one that, that Johnny, Johnny Nelson was um, saying, did he, I don't know, Johnny Nelson said he would knock out Tank or say something, he punches harder than Tank. Bear me one second, I wanna, I wanna say, I wanna say James Tennyson. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, yeah, it's definitely James Tennyson. James Tennyson, uh, and he got um, Saffron, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Saffron, rock him up. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, Andy Cruz, this, yeah, we're talking about him from the, um, from the amateurs. But he came, I came aware about him when he had that back and forth with uh, Keyshawn Davis. Now, uh, shout out to um, one of my guys, uh, Blinks, gonna shout you on this. But obviously he's telling me about Keyshawn Davis and I'm telling him, bro, listen, uh, Andy Cruz is the guy. Yeah, he is the guy. He's trust me. This guy is going to be a problem. Look at his performance, mate. Second fighting. Uh, obviously, he's linked up with um, Boosie Ennis. That's Boots Ennis's uh, dad. And yeah, he's looking good, bro. Like, he's looking good. Like he is looking. You see, you lightweights out there. He's my guy right now. I can tell you right now, put him in there with anyone. Put him in there with Keyshawn Davis right now. Yeah? You'll brock him up. Uh, it, mate, he's looking good, bro. He's looking good. Um, yeah, I don't know where, who who you put him in then with next. Um, possibly that guy that fought, um, oh, what's that guy? Uh, who fought uh, Ryan Garcia the other week? You could put him in there with him. Um, but yeah, <laughs> mate, mate, let me tell you something. The way my way my man boxes, I know I'm kind of going in and out, yeah, because it's just like, like there was just like me, the southpaw stance, two uppercuts, boom, straight down the middle, boom, straight down the middle, yeah, step back, bam, 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 angle, switching it up, bro. Listen, this guy is going to be a problem for all the lightweights out there. Andy Cruz is going to be the problem, yeah. I'm putting stamp, like I said, I'm putting it out there right now. Andy Cruz will be the problem. Yeah, so watch out for him. Uh, who else? Uh, the Montana Love fight. Now, I'm not going to really talk about that because I ain't going to I was kind of dozing off. I was dozing off. So that fight, I won't really talk about. I saw, yeah, a couple of knockdowns. Where Montana Love comes, goes from there, I don't know. I just, don't, don't, I just generally don't think he can cut it at that level, if I'm honest. He, did, he DQ'd himself in his last fight, uh, flipping my man over the ring. Um, yeah, I don't know where he goes from there, man. So I'm not going to really, really talk too much about him. But Andy Cruz is the guy. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. It's a little quick little wrap up. It's Elijah Friend. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'm out to the next one. Stay blessed.